for the Prime Minister's visit to Japan. Today, crucial agreements signed, including a key currency swap agreement and an assurance of a 2 plus 2 dialogue between India and Japan soon. With the rupee in trouble, India is hoping this key agreement between Prime Minister Modi and his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe could help. India and Japan have signed a $75 billion currency swap agreement. It means that both countries can trade in their local currencies without involving the US dollar. The agreement was signed after PM Modi held talks with his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe in Tokyo today during the 13th India-Japan annual summit. This is a 50% jump from an earlier agreement between India and Japan. Japan also signed a similar agreement with China some days ago, but for much less at 30 billion US dollars. India says the personal relationship and warmth between the two leaders led to this outcome. मुझे खुशी है कि पिछले वर्ष गुजरात में आयोजित की गई ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग सेरेमनी के बाद आज थोड़ी देर पहले हमने नए येन लोन की प्रदान करने के लिए सहमत हुए हैं। The joint statement calls on Pakistan to bring the perpetrators of 2611 and the January 2016 Pathan Court attack to justice. While talking about strengthening cooperation against Pakistan-based terror groups like the LET and Jaish. The two countries have also agreed to cooperate in yoga and Ayurved for the first time. Speaking to the Indian diaspora earlier, the Prime Minister invoked the Sardar Patel statue for unity as a huge symbol of Indian cross. 31 October, Sardar Vallabhai Patel ki janma jainti hai. Sardar sahab ki janma jainti to hum har baar manate aaye hai. Legis baar, पूरे विश्व का ध्यान आकर्षित होने वाला है क्योंकि सरदार साहब की जन्मभूमि गुजरात की धरती पर सरदार साहब का दुनिया का सबसे ऊंचा स्टैच्यू बन रहा है ये समझने के लिए मैं कहूंगा ये स्टैच्यू ऑफ लिबर्टी से स्टैच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी डबल ऊंचा है इन अ ईयर दैट हैज सीन सम डिफिकल्ट टाइज फॉर इंडिया ऑन द फॉरेन पॉलिसी फ्रंट Japan has stood out as a time-tested friend, a friend of India forever, as Shinzo Abe said. An NDTV Bureau report.